so we have finally moved house. This is my new bedroom and this is the backdrop from now on. Possibly, I don't know, this is like the first video I filmed in my new bedroom. So when I come to edit it, I might really like it, I don't know. It will change around for a while as I get used to my bedroom. But um, more on moving house and what's up with me in an update video which I'm going to film next. I am ill, I can, I can hear it in my voice but I really wanted to film today because um, we have no internet but I'm going to my best friend's house for about a week um, on Thursday so I'll be going for quite a few days so I thought I'd film a lot of videos this week and then schedule them and then upload them next week and then schedule them to go up. So I'm trying to film them all, I'm really ill but I am going to try and film like quite a few videos but um, today is going to be a beauty haul, I don't usually do beauty hauls because I don't really like beauty that much but um, quite a few people said on my last video that they are here for the beauty so that is what I'm going to do today, I'm really sorry about my voice that I can really feel it but um, yeah I'm going to do an update video now after I've done this so if you do want to know more on how the move went and what's going on with me then yeah I'll leave that down below when it's up but for now I'm going to do a beauty haul. So I'll start off with MAC because that's the only like high end things that I got. Um, first of all I got a pump for my Estee Lauder double wear because I hate the way this pours out i don't understand why anyone would design packaging where you pour the foundation out i just don't understand why you would do that so i bought a pump from mac um i can't like th i can't rem remember how much it was but i can remember it not being that expensive i think it was around three pound fifty and my mom and grandma also ordered a pump from mac because they both also use the Estee Lauder double wear and I find that I waste a lot of it when I'm pouring it out so I much prefer this and it does fit because they're like a sister company or something like that so yeah I bought a pump for my Estee Lauder double wear I also bought a new Moonrise Skin Finish Natural this one is in Light Plus and I don't know where I'd be without this I love this I think this is the first ever product I bought from MAC like three years ago and I've not been without it ever since. I love it, it's the best and I love it. And then with my order, because I ordered it online, I got a free MAC strobe cream, which I was really happy to receive actually, because normally when you like buy from MAC in the store, you don't get many samples. And MAC's kind of like, it's not like the most expensive, but you know, it's not cheap. And I don't tend to try like lots of things, I tend to like stick to the lipsticks and my mineral light skin finish. So I was quite happy to receive this and I've really been liking it. Um, I've kind of liked putting it on my cheekbones, I didn't really know what to do with it at first. But um, I kind of like watched a few videos and I really like it and I think I would buy the full size when this runs out. But I only use like the tiniest bit so this is seeming to last me ages. Moving on to things that I've bought from Boots, I've bought quite a lot, um, all of this has been like gradual, um, it's not been, you know, one trip. The first thing I got were two products from Saint-Tropez. Now, when I went to prom, I used the Saint-Tropez Gradual Tan in Light, I think it was, and I've now bought the Saint-Tropez Gradual Tan in this is medium dark and I really really like this and um, I have tried it once and um, it does come out very like because I'm so pale it comes out quite dark it's almost like an instant tan for me because I am so pale whereas the light to medium I did have to build up like the usual gradual tan but I really like this and I like that it's got a moisturizer in it that is the combined because it's really I just really like it it it's kind of skips a step out you don't have to moisturize as well sorry I'm not the setup isn't great yet so it might be a bit shaky but um, I also bought the um, tinted moisturiser like the face one and um, yeah when I look back at pictures from prom I fake tanned my arms my legs and that was it and then I look at my face and I'm like why did you do that why did why did you do that so um, I've bought this so I don't make the same mistake again where I have a really pale face and a very tanned body for lip products, I love lip products so much. Um, the first thing I bought was one of the Bourjois lipsticks, the new ones that are in this quite cool packaging. I like how um, I have like a new little organiser for my lipsticks and it looks nice in my lipstick holder. Um, which is another thing, if you'd like to see a homeware haul then like this video because I would happily do one but I don't know if that's what you want to see. And this is in colour number 3, I don't know if you can see that. But um, it's kind of just a peachy 
wrong way <laughs> kind of like a peachy colour and it's really pretty I'm not mad on it for now because it's very wintry at the minute it's like really typical wintry and it looks a bit odd and yeah I think it'll look nice in the summer though and I can't remember how much this was but it wasn't a lot and these are the rouge editions and then I also bought one of the L'Oreal glossy stains I don't know what the actual name is um, I've watched quite a few videos and no one knows the name of these but this is in like a purpley colour very similar to Rebel and I have this on today under Rebel no over Rebel god you can tell I haven't filmed for a while I'm getting everything backwards but um yeah I've got this on over Rebel and I do have a YSL glossy stain and I would say they are identical I there's no two ways about it they are identical which I've heard from other people's videos they are like a sister brand so you know they probably have got the same formula and um, just different packaging but I still quite like this packaging I don't think it looks cheap or anything and the smell is the same the texture is the same everything everything's the same um would I recommend the YSL over this um I, I don't really know I do like my YSL one and you know it's nice to have like the luxuries from YSL because it's just nice to like treat yourself every now and again what the fuck am I rambling on about but um yeah I like this this is very nice I also re-bought the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. I had this a few years ago, maybe it was more like one year, a year ago, but um, it ran out and then I never re-bought it. I had re-bought it like a few times and then I just didn't re-buy it again. Um, I kind of tried to use other concealers, I tried to, because sometimes when you use a product quite a few times and you repurchase it, you kind of get a bit complacent with it and you want to try other things. So I was trying other concealers because I have really bad under eye circles and I tried a couple from MAC, um, Soap and Glory Kickass and I liked them but I kind of had a craving to go back to this so I did and this is a number one fair. And then another random thing was one of these 17 metallic eyes. Um, I did my mum's makeup the other day, um, just why not and I kind of used a few of my things out of my drawers and a few of her things from her makeup bag and this was one of the things I picked out of her makeup bag and this is like a really really pretty like bronzy shimmery shade and this is in wild nude and I went out and bought one for myself because I really like it and um, it just looks so pretty on and I'm not really going to show you it's just like a really really pretty nudie colour and ever since I've had my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I've been so into eyeshadow, like it's ridiculous, I never used to be into it at all, and now like I love it, like I'm loving eyeshadow, like it's great. Final few things are nail varnishes, and um, I've been buying a few, not loads, and um, the first two I bought were from the Barry M Jelly Ranges. And the two I got were these, um, I'm not really sure what colours they are, oh yes I do, the, this one is pomegranate and this one is prickly pear, I have the pear one on today but you won't be able to see it, I'll put it on Instagram there. And I've always said that I'm not mad on Barry M nail varnishes and I know it's quite a big thing to say, you know, Barry M nail varnishes are good but they're not for me, I'm not mad on them. But, um, like, Jelly Range is fantastic. I don't know what the difference is. Um, I just really, really like them. They're really thick. They're just a really, really nice consistency. They're not thick, gloopy. They're just thick, nice, thick. I don't know what the difference is, but I really, really, really do like them. And, um, yeah, I would buy more. Um, I have heard that everyone else likes them. There's a few that do look a bit... Um, I'm not mad on. Like, the, the pale nude, it looks a bit yellowy white for me but you know whatever um i also bought the bourgeois so matte top coat and i've been really enjoying using this and dropped on the floor um i really like it um it's like a nice change because even if you're using like an old nail varnish then it kind of makes it a little bit new putting the matte top coat on and i really like it um i also bought the models own it's like a um glitter but it's a weird glitter it's like a I don't know what you call it, and where it's like every colour, I'll think of it, and I'll really be angry that I couldn't think of the word. Reflex, it's kind of like MAC Reflex Pearl, but in a nail varnish. And I really, really, really like the colour, I've got it on one of my nails now, but I find it very thick and gloopy, like really, really thick. You know when you've had a nail varnish for like three years and you've not opened it in a while and then you open it and it's really gloopy it was like that on the first day that I used it and I don't know whether I just got a bodged one but um 
I don't know. Maybe they're not all like that. Maybe I just picked a crap one. But it does look nice on. But I maybe got the bodged one. I don't know. So that is it for my beauty haul. I'm sorry I've been a bit all over the place today. I've not filmed in a while. I've never filmed in this bedroom. Uh, I'm just a bit all over the place. I'm ill. I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to film an update video now and then um, I'll link it down below when it's up. And yeah, that's all I've got to say. I'm going to go and die in my own illness now. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.